long because these blow dries are becoming like a freaking <laughs> arm workout. Um, if you want to know what I use, I love this brush. I've had to go through a few of them, but the good thing about Bondi Boost is that they always replace them. So I use this one. Um, don't really know why, but it is still such a good brush. Maybe you'll have better luck than I did, but so far this one's lost a good while. But this is what the blowout looks like. I know it's kind of hard to see because I wear, <laughs> I'm wearing a black robe and my hair is pretty dark, but uh, it's just so shiny and so pretty. Lots of volume. So I just blow dried my hair. I'm hot, so I'm gonna cool down. And welcome to the channel, you guys. But let me go let the dogs in. They're barking. Brookie, Brixie, there's one, there's two. Hey! <laughs> I need a hair clip. This is all I have. I wanna do my makeup. It's like my everyday very simple makeup, but first I'm ice rolling. One, because when I blow dried, I got really hot, so I need to cool down. But two, I love to ice roll in the morning um, and at night. Honestly, whenever I'm just puffy um, and have like a lot of inflammation, I like to ice roll. I'll leave this ice roller down below. It's really affordable and it's actually a really good one and it doesn't squeak. I've had some in the past that every time you roll that it squeaks. This one doesn't, I think it was under $10. So I'll leave it linked down below and I'll leave anything linked that I'm about to show you guys that I can find a link for for my makeup. Right now, since we're living at Joey's mom's right now while we're remodeling the RV, I have like everything in just bags. <laughs> it's been going really well um, at Joey's mom's. Like everything's good, the dogs are good. You know, living at someone else's house, you do start to miss your space and your routine but that's normal and I know it won't like be forever. We'll be in our RV soon and we'll have like our routine and plus we're both so excited and eager to get the RV done. But the thing is it's taking so much time because we really can only work in it on the weekend when Joey has off. So it's been a little bit difficult um, to get everything done in a timely manner, but we've gotten everything that we wanted taken out and removed we've removed everything that we wanted to um that's just like pretty much what's been going on is like every day i feel like we do like little tiny projects and then on the weekend you know we try to get a lot done so that's just like where i've been and it's been time consuming for sure but yeah that's just a part of it so that's going really well i hope you guys are liking kind of like the like demolition days and the remodeling and stuff and are enjoying those vlogs if you don't know what I'm talking about I'll leave a playlist for you guys because I'm storing everything under RV living I'm really gonna start incorporating RV living a lot more to the channel because that's a big part of my life and I know a lot of people are interested in that and have questions and just want to see that kind of lifestyle with prices rising so much and things being so expensive um, I know more people are looking at other alternatives to like living um, so I'll try to provide more info this is the foundation I use it's the revolution conceal and define I really like it I feel like it's not heavy but it covers a lot I use the slip tint under because I'm kind of tan right now. I love this slip tint. It has um, SPF 35 and it's a little bit darker. So I do that one first and then I go over it with more coverage with like an actual foundation. And I like to use a brush rather than a beauty blender and blend it out. And I'm going to take this bronzer. This is just Rimmel London Natural Bronzer. Just a simple little bronzer and a brush. And I really aim to go upward on the cheeks. My mother-in-law, um, she was going on a flight to see her boyfriend. And she came in the room. <laughs> We're very honest, our relationship. Um, and I was like, are you going to put on lipstick? 
<laughs> and bronzer? Uh, she was like, no, why? And I'm like, well, I think you got tan from helping us like work outside and stuff. Your, her foundation was so white. And she's like, I don't wear bronzer. Like, what do I do? So I put, um, I think she has it. Yeah, I gave her a brush and my next bronzer. She has it right here. This is her bathroom. And I was like, okay, this is how you do it. I was like, start from like right here and go upward. Give yourself some lift. Don't, you know, focus on the apples of the cheeks anymore. That's like outdated. And under the nose, a little bit on the bridge, on the forehead. If you need to, go around your chin area. And she was like shocked about how more youthful and lifted and glowy she looked. So if you're someone who doesn't know how to use bronzer or it's just, you know, you just put it on and not really knowing like the areas to put it on, definitely start from like here and just swipe upwards. Try to avoid the apple of the cheeks and just imagine lifting, lifting. So you can get up into your temple area, your forehead area and your hairline and then under your nose makes your nose appear smaller. You can even do like down the sides. It doesn't have to be perfect because it all blends with the brush really well. Just make sure, you know, you drag the brush and blend it. You can always clean up any messes with that brush you use with your foundation if you feel like you need to kind of clean up any areas like that. But I just thought that was really funny. I was like, maybe I need to mention that on the channel too. She looked great. All right, I'm gonna do some blush. I used the Cream Chick Kiss Milani and Berry Smooch. I love this. This is very, very potent. So you don't need much. That's the areas that I put it. And then I just use my finger and blend it out. Again, kind of like the same area, but I drag it a little bit more over here for that like natural sunburnt look. Like how pretty and subtle that is. I love it. I like this highlighter so much right now. It's so natural and beautiful. It's by Say E. It's the Dew Bomb Illuminator. And I don't know, oh, it's in rosy gold. <laughs> I was like, where's the color? Um, it's just nice and creamy. I use about that much. You can and highly recommend. It's very, very nice. And very subtle. I really like cream products more so than powder to give that dewy look. I get comments about the dewy skin I have and it, honestly I think a, a big part of it is prepping your skin with a nice like skin oil before if you're not oily, if you're more dry and using cream products. Okay, so of course, of course my camera died so I didn't get to show you guys what I did to my makeup. Um, so I didn't get to finish my makeup on camera, but I just did the brows, a little bit of mascara. I use brown mascara. I feel like that's a little secret um, for natural makeup is brown mascara. It just looks so much more natural. And then for the lips, I used Charlotte Tilbury um, lip liner. Oh gosh, what is this in the color? Oh my God, I don't know it because it's so worn down. Um, but I'll leave it down below. <laughs> just forget brain fart. Um, I just line the lips a little bit. And then I use, this is Peach Charm Lipstick. This is by L'Oreal. And I just use that. It's like a little peachy nude lip. That's it. I just wanna make sure I shared my lip combo with you guys. market we got some stuff at Publix but nothing really exciting um, but from Kim Bros which is where I go is Kim Brothers um, on Hillsborough in Tampa Florida the best place to get Korean food best kimchi look for this it doesn't even have a label it's just called kimchi they make it there um, fresh 
and I got garlic. Love garlic. <laughs> and that's what we need for the recipe. I got some seasoned fish cakes. I love, love, love fish cakes. This is what they look like. Um, it tastes a little fishy and spongy. That's how I would describe it. And then we got matcha sticks. They have other flavors of these Pocky sticks. Um, strawberry, chocolate, things like that. We got little cookies with red bean jam. This is what they look like. Joey's obsessed with these little red bean cakes. These are the black sesame. So you got two of those, or four of those actually. Yellow radish. I'll be making a pickled yellow radish. We got some japchae dumplings. Japchae is a noodle and it's amazing. And these dumplings are amazing. They're so freaking good. Probably air fry those. And then we got apple hotok. Um, it's like a pancake with a apple jam inside. They're phenomenal. And then I got a little uh, cafe latte for tomorrow. A little iced coffee treats. And that's everything from the Asian market. I have never used a Dutch oven before, so I'm so excited to be working with By Deem. They have sent me a beautiful Dutch oven, which is great quality. This thing is solid. It's heavy, but it's not too heavy to like be in a small space, which is why I really like it because I live in the RV. So I need things that just function really well with my lifestyle, and this definitely will. I'm so excited to use it today. I'm going to be making a Asian short rib recipe. And the good thing about this is typically in a slow cooker this would take eight to nine hours but in the Dutch oven cook time is two and a half hours so we're gonna see we're gonna see how it turns out we're gonna see how I like it and if you are interested in getting the Dutch oven just to kind of cut down cooking time but making really good healthy yummy home-cooked meals then check the link down below there will be a link for you guys they're also hosting a campaign where you can win money off on some items so make sure to check my exclusive link down below and thank you by Dean for sponsoring this portion of the video this is right up my alley because I absolutely love to cook and I'm really excited to um, share this recipe with you guys Okay, I have my Dutch oven on the stove top. I'm adding in five cloves of garlic. I have about two teaspoons of sesame oil because I'm going to brown the meat. The cookware works evenly for boiling, braising, roasting, toasting, and baking. The tight fitting lid locks in moisture and raised dots inside of the lid create a rainforest effect allowing juices to drip back into whatever you are cooking. One teaspoon of ginger. I am using a little bit more of beef than the original recipe, so if I go a little hefty on the seasoning, it's just because I'm using a little bit more um, beef. I'm going to add this chili bean sauce. You can find this at Typically Walmart has this brand. You can also find it on Amazon or an Asian market near you. You could look for this. Or you could use gochujang. And again, I'm doubling this one. So I'm doing two tablespoons for this. This has a little bit of a spice to it, but nothing major. I would say it's not like super, super spicy. We're gonna add two tablespoons of honey. This is a sticky, sweet short rib. One tablespoon of brown sugar. Three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I feel like they'll be better cold. Mm. Why don't you put them in the thing? I'm adding three cups of beef broth. 
You guys, this already smells amazing. I have to say, like, it smells so good. And if you don't like spice, you can eliminate that um, chili red bean spice. You could just make this a sweet version and you don't even have to add any spice to it. You could do the ginger and the sugar and the honey and just make this sweet. You don't even have to do the spice if you don't like the spice. And if you do like spice but you want something more mild, I would recommend only doing like one fourth of any kind of spicy sauce that you have. Like one fourth of a teaspoon is what I mean for this big batch. If you just want like a tiny, tiny little bit of heat. All right, now we're going to place the lid on. We have it at the oven at 335 and we're going to let this bad boy cook for two hours and 30 minutes and we'll test it with a thermometer, make sure the meat's cooked. And then we're going to add just a tad bit of cornstarch to thicken up the sauce and let it sit on the stove top for about 10 to 15 minutes to cool and thicken. All right, can you assist me please, sir? Yes. Take the, oh wait, those little mitts on. I slip these on? Yep, slip the little mitts on it comes with. I'll open the oven for you. All right, ma'am. All right, going in. Bye little Dutch oven. It's got some weight to it. I know, it's a nice sturdy. It went in for two hours and 30 minutes. I cut up some green onions for garnish and we have some sesame seeds, sesame seeds for garnish on top and then we're making sushi rice. So, we're gonna have that and it's gonna be delicious. While the short ribs are cooking, I am making a little side dish. This is yellow radish, pickled yellow radish. This is what it looks like, if you can see. Um, it comes in like a long tube like this, but way bigger. Um, and it's so good. It's just like a pickled little radish. And I add green onions, sesame oil, and I usually add a little bit of red pepper chili flakes, like the Asian ground up one. But Joey's grandma doesn't like spice, so I'm just going to make a mild version of this. And I'll probably just add maybe soy sauce to it. Actually, I might not even add soy sauce because that's really salty. She doesn't like salt either. <laughs> and these are already pretty salty. So maybe just green onions and sesame oil. I could do one batch spicy or nah. Um, I don't really like them spicy. Okay. But... Here they are. Adding some green onions. And a little bit of sesame oil. What about garlic maybe? Like garlic powder? Do you think would be good or no? What kind of spice were you planning on putting in it? Well, they don't really have it. I use that red pepper Asian. Wait, chili flakes? Yeah, uh -oh. but they don't have that here. So you want to come taste it and tell me if it's just fine the way it is? Cause we'll have kimchi. Mm, I think it's fine the way it is. Drum roll. Literally falling off the bone. Look at that, right there. Look at that splitting off of that bone. Love the couch. Hey guys, it is the next day, but before I ended this vlog, I wanted to share these two books I've read within like three days. The second book I read in a day because it's so good. There's only two books, there's like a sequel. Um, and we're gonna talk about it. I'm going to start reading more and sharing more books that I read. I'm gonna leave all the books to my Amazon storefront. So if you guys wanna get the books that I've read or books that I'm currently reading, I'm gonna add to Amazon storefront so we can read them at the same time. This is the book one called The Naked Fisherman and this is book two, The Lost Fisherman. They're not really long books. 
very easy reads can't put it down type of books I can say that okay so the first book the naked fisherman I was like you know it's a love plot it's in a big age gap difference and I was she's 18 he's 28 I was like oh why did they have to make her like just the legal age of 18 but then when I was like reading it I was like you know what like I could relate a lot to her when I was 18 I mean I wasn't in love with an older man but I was doing a lot of the same things that she was doing thinking of the same things um acting on those things <laughs> um so I could relate to it because it's a, a like heav heavily like sexual book um so yeah at first I was kind of annoyed that she was so young but then you know you just have to read it and give it a go but the second book is taken place five years later and that there's a big plot twist and it was not what I was expecting the second book to be but it was so good so so good it's great cried a little bit couldn't put it down good details it's a sexy book i really liked it and really enjoyed it so get these books they're so good again i'll have them linked down below for you guys on my amazon storefront i'm thinking about getting like a tablet or like a kindle um to read my books one because i don't really have a lot of space to like save all these books and then it's like time consuming to like go donate them and it costs a lot of money because each of these were like 14 dollars, and it adds up I could just get like a Kindle or a tablet and do like Kindle Unlimited. So I don't know. If you guys read books on any kind of tablet device, let me know what you use and what you like. And if it's worth it, let me know in the comments below because I am interested in that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Enjoyed seeing me cook again. I feel like I haven't shared a video of me cooking in forever. Um, the food was spectacular. The Dutch oven was awesome. I love it. I have it out on the countertop so it like reminds me to use it. Um, I want to start making like more things with it. Um, I have the link for the By Dean Dutch oven down below. They're also hosting a campaign so join in on that. You might have a chance to win some things, get some money off. So check the link down below for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.